looks like we got a little police action in front of the post office here. I'm going to head over there and see what's going on. Copters the siren and then got out of the car and walked toward the door but I couldn't see what happened because he went behind the black car that's parked in the bus stop okay looks like he's up on the, on the stairs of the post office I don't know what's going on up there I don't know if the guy behind him is a civilian or another officer. I don't think if, if he was the guy that they were checking out, that he would have put his, that the cop would turn his back on the guy. So I'm guessing that the, the guy in the black shirt and the blue jeans is the cop. Can't tell what's going on there. Looks like he's tasing somebody. I'm not sure. Now he's on his phone. I'd have heard it if it was a taser. I don't know, the cop is acting weird. Looks like he's talking to somebody who's behind the... Oh, I see there's somebody laying down across the front door. That's who they were talking to. He was making some weird motions, but he never, uh, never physically touched the guy. Now he's getting up. There he goes. I wish I was close enough to hear it. I don't... I'm guessing somebody at the post office called them about that because they're just starting to arrive for work. Even a gimbal doesn't help that much against the camera shake when it's zoomed this far. The gimbal is a tremendous help. The camera looks perfectly steady when it's not zoomed at all. But on 8X, even with the gimbal, it's shaky. Well, the guy went over and 
sat down on the bus bench over there behind the car. Cops are just hanging out over there. I don't think, I'm not sure they're going to wait for the guy to leave the area. They just need to get him uh, off the post office property. Because they probably got a call from the post office. They do have a contract. They do have a contract with the post office for enforcement. So. They don't have to get the post, uh, postal police or the postmaster. Now he's heading back over toward the cops. Cops telling him to go to Lincoln Road. Now I think that that's the same cop who threw me off the public sidewalk in a 1200 block of Washington a couple of months ago. threatened to arrest me because his superiors had told him to clear everybody off the sidewalks. I asked him what law am I breaking by being here on the public sidewalk. He's, he said, uh, I forget. But I can take you to jail and we can figure it out later. As he gripped his handcuffs. And the one on the right, that's the same cop. Two of them are just standing there talking. I don't know where the second cop's car came from. The one on the left is the one in the SUV. The one on the right has a sedan, not an SUV. And unless they've given him a different car since our encounter. But... I don't see his car. Okay, apparently he is driving the SUV. And the plainclothes cop is getting in on the passenger side. So they gave him a different car now. I didn't get close enough to get the number. But this is over. Bum's gone. Cops are gone. And I'm gone. Well, now, how about that? I was watching a poor dirt farmer live stream when this started. And I cut away from it. I was about to go back to watching it. And the cop came back. He went around the block. I guess to make sure the, the bum took off. And now he came back and he parked right in front of the post office. And he's just sitting there.
Now I guess he's reasonably certain the bum's not still around. I don't know, he made another right turn. I don't know if he's gonna go look for the guy. Expect him to go around the block again. Well, this Miami Beach audits. I'm out of here. I'll see you on the next one. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And post a comment. It helps with the algorithm.